Hello, welcome to this lesson in the AC Circuit Analysis Tutor. Here we're going to switch gears a little bit. We're going to work with Thevenin and equivalent circuits and how to calculate them using phasers. So, as you know, what I've been telling you this whole time is the techniques that you've learned for DC analysis, in this case Thevenin and equivalents, once you master them, then the technique becomes the same thing in the phasor domain. It's just that instead of real numbers, you have complex numbers running around. So this is a very simple Thevenin equivalent uh, problem. We'll get to more complicated problems later. Um, but to illustrate it, we'll have, we'll have this guy here. We have an AC source, 240 volts, at a phase of zero degrees. And we have three elements here. We have a resistor, we have an inductor, we have a capacitor, and we have the impedances already given for everything, so you don't have to calculate that. And what we're asked to do is find the Thevenin equivalent between terminals A and B. So basically what we want to figure out is how can we replace this whole entire thing with a single voltage source, the Thevenin equivalent voltage, and a single impedance, the Thevenin equivalent impedance. And uh, then once you have that, then between terminals A and B, what we have here will behave exactly the same as this Thevenin equivalent that we're going to calculate. So if you remember back to doing Thevenin equivalents before, there's two steps to it. First, you have to find the Thevenin equivalent voltage, then you have to find the Thevenin equivalent impedance. So to find the voltage, what you need to do is look between terminals A and B and calculate the open circuit voltage. That means in between A and B, we don't have anything here. This is an open circuit between A and B, but we want to find out what this voltage is between here and here. And this voltage, VAB, is what we're calling the Thevenin equivalent uh, voltage. Now, there's many ways to proceed, but really this is such a simple circuit, you should see that essentially these are all in series with one another, the, all of these impedances. These terminals A and B, they're not connected to anything, so you can kind of pretend they're not there. The current is going to come out of the source and go this way. Now, again, we're in the AC uh, you know, cosine type of problems. We know that the source is really oscillating back and forth. That means the current's going kind of up and down like this, but for the purpose of visualization, we visualize the current coming out of the positive terminal just like DC sources, even though we know that it's really oscillating back and forth. So you can envision the current going around and around like this. There'll be a voltage drop across this, a voltage drop across this, and a voltage drop across this. We want to figure out what this voltage drop is. So the first step there, or the easiest way to do it, is let's figure out what this current is circulating around there. So this current, and I'll go ahead and label it on the circuit, um, this current here, we'll just call it I. It's just the current uh, going around and around like that. Uh, this current I is very simple because this circuit is so simple. It's just Ohm's law, V over Z. This is just Ohm's law. The voltage is given in the problem statement, 240 at an angle of zero degrees. That's the voltage. And the impedance is the total impedance there in this uh, loop here. Since the, the guy's just coming 